Hello, we are Mariko and Hamdi, and our project for the Certificate in Sustainability is called Shredding Down Barriers, Promoting Diversity in Sustainability and Outdoor Activities. We are both in Environmental Studies degree with a concentration in politics, society, and the global environment. Hi, my name is Mariko, and I'm currently uh, in my last year of an Environmental Studies degree. I have a deep passion for the outdoors, particularly hiking and snowboarding in the mountains. Um, and as a snowboarding instructor for many years, I've developed an appreciation for nature and doing thing outdoor doing things outdoors, especially doing winter activities. I'm Hamdi and I'm entering my final year of my degree. I'm deeply passionate about our planet and prioritizing my connection with nature. Living on an acreage allows me to immerse myself in the beauty of the outdoors every day, forcing a strong sense of stewardship and appreciation for the environment. For our project, we investigated the relationship between time spent outdoors and connections to the environment and environmental values, specifically for people identifying as Black, Indigenous, or people of color, um, also known as BIPOC a population that has historically has experienced barriers to outdoor recreational activities. Our project came about from a discussion we had around recreation in outdoor spaces and the large gap in accessibility for people of color to access these spaces. So we wanted to propose the idea of using an exper experiential learning approach to put on a free, inclusive outdoor activity for students who identify as BIPOC to build a sense of belonging to the outdoors and build racially and culturally diverse outdoor spaces. As part of our project, we hosted a workshop where we invited students of color to discuss their experiences across the accessing the outdoors and relationship with the outdoors. In this presentation, we will discuss our research, findings from our workshop discussion with participants, and our proposal for how to shred down barriers. The primary concerns we aim to tackle through our project encompass two key issues. The first is the lack of representation and sense of belonging for people of color in the sustainability and environmental field. And the second is the historic exclusion of people of color from outdoor recreation or leisure activities. In Western countries, the environmental movement and related disciplines remain predominantly white. This is significant because Schelser et al. argue that racial and ethnic diversity in environmental sustainability advances social equity and innovation, solving social ecological crises. Yet Black, Indigenous, and people of color, so BIPOC, remain underrepresented in sustainability fields despite high environmental concern. This is mirrored on university campuses where BIPOC students may face additional barriers to participating in sustainability related academic studies or extracurricular activities. Diverse perspectives are crucial for creating diverse ideas and solutions to address the complex problems around sustainability. Having a diverse Having a diversity of people of different cultures and backgrounds working towards environmental problems is a key part of this. According to the University of Alberta's 2021 EDI report, that's Equity, Diversity and Inclusion, 43% of students at the university identified as members of a visible minority group. However, anecdotally, we feel like there was a tremendous lack of racial and ethnic representation in our degree program, as well as in sustainability or environmental themed classes we have taken throughout the durations of our degree. This brings us back to the relationship we were interested in, which is time spent outdoors and connection to the environment. We know that there has been a historic exclusion of people of color from participating and recreating in outdoor spaces. Morris et al. described four mechanisms that limit the use of outdoor spaces, financial, economic costs, as well as social, cultural, and environmental factors mean that a lot of outdoor sports and activities are almost exclusively accessible to people who are white and or in the middle class demographic. A lack of BIPOC representation in outdoor spaces and lack of 
BIPOC representation in the environmental and sustainability field for study and work has not been directly studied or directly linked. We believe that there is merit to correlation between the two. There is increasing research that indicates time in nature and the outdoors is associated with positive environmental attitudes. There is also substantial evidence across disciplines that time spent in nature and outdoors is positively linked with many incredible mental and physical health benefits. Time outdoors also is a is also linked with improving sense of belonging, which can affect the student's feeling of being cared about, accepted, respected, valued by, and important to the campus community. Sense of belonging is integral for building uh, and improving individual's sense of being cared about, respected, and is also integral for building sustainable communities. Because our original conversation came from a discussion we had about snowboarding and access to winter outdoor snow sports, we wanted to investigate how to use play and sport to bring all of these ideas together. Using play and recreation for experiential learning has been extensively studied and is a great way to learn and grow even as an adult. So how is this all related to sustainability and our sustainability certificate project? The main focus is through the SDGs. The interdisciplinary, interdisciplinary nature of this project touches on SDG 17, which is partnership for the goals, SDG uh, 10, reduce inequalities, SDG 3, good health and well being, SDG 11, sustainable cities and communities. Because of our experiential learning approach, our project is particularly aligned with SDG 4 which is quality education, especially target 4.7, which is to ensure that all learners acquire knowledge and skills needed to promote sustainable development, including through education for sustainable development and sustainable lifestyles. Um, our project also aligns closely with the university's um, 2016 to 2022 campus sustainability plan, which is encouraging exposure to interdisciplinary and transdisciplinary teaching and research connected to sustainability. Bringing all of these ideas together, these were the main pillars of our project. We wanted to combine diversity and representation, community building, environmental connection, and place-based connection all together. Considering all of these ideas, we put on a workshop where we invited students of color to discuss their experiences accessing the outdoors and relationship with the outdoors, as well as, as their sense of connection and belonging in the sustainability field. We do not want our workshop to be a lecture on sustainability, but rather an opportunity to discuss representation, diversity, and a sense of belonging concerning the sustainability field and outdoor spaces. We discussed our research with the participants and asked if they agreed or could relate to the ideas. Our original goal was to host a free inclusive skiing event where we would share our ideas and research as well as per, per, pre preparatory information to know before skiing so participants could reflect on these things while participating in the ski event and afterwards through experiential learning. One of our participants said that compared to peers who often grew up participating in outdoor activities, she felt like there was an additional pressure for her to be a good model minority when trying new activities. She mentioned how being a racial minority and being representative of your culture or background means that you may be judged stronger for learning and failing or your mistakes would be more obvious compared to white peers. Some other points from the workshop discussion with participants are uh, reluctancy to try new outdoor activities alone because they felt they did not belong in a space due to being a visible minority, appreciation for learning about the SDGs, sustainability encompasses environment and social problems, and feelings around what it means to be Canadian in regards to feeling connected to the environment and outdoors. Our proposal. 
To address these issues, we wanted to propose putting on a free inclusive event for BIPOC students to connect to the outdoors through sport and outdoor recreation. Using an experiential learning approach where participants would be informed about sustainability connections and get to learn through doing. We pursued a grant to put on an introductory ski event for BIPOC students aiming to foster people's connection to nature and sustainability, but unfortunately we were rejected on the basis that our project wasn't tangentially related enough to sustainability. This reinforces the challenges for promoting social sustainability and BIPOC representation in the sustainability field. Again, we want to highlight our belief that diverse perspectives are essential for generating varied ideas and solutions to address complex sustainability challenges. We want to continue advocating for inclusivity and problem solving for a more sustainable future. Overall, we are adamant about reducing the historic and ubiquitous exclusion of people of color from outdoor recreational spaces and increasing the sense of belonging that people of color feel in outdoor nature spaces. So these are all of the references that we used for our project. Thank you so much.